Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, and gave donations. All right, Piscianos. I am using a new tarot deck. This is the Star Kissed deck. All right, Pisces. So I am hearing something. I hear, um, I don't belong here. I don't belong here. And then here at the bottom, I have the page of coins in the reversal, literally with the words lost motivation. I don't belong here. All right, Pisces. So this is what I'm getting. I kind of feel you, you know, with certain people having this conversation and it's like you're getting bored. I don't know what these people are talking about. I don't know if they're gossiping, if they're being judgmental, if they're being critical, all those things that you just, I feel you, you're just like, I'm so above that. Because I I, I, feel, I hear that thing, like, I don't belong here. It's kind of like snobby, you know? And I know you're not snobby. It's just an energy that comes through Pisces where it's like, you're realizing that you're better than this conversation that you're better than what these people are talking about. So I feel like you have lost your motivation in this group, in this job, whatever it is, Pisces, I don't know. But let's go a little bit deeper. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today. Ooh. For my beautiful Pisces. People, my like Piscianos, what messages do we have for Pisces? Oh, shit. I just felt that. I'm sorry. I had to curse because I really felt that one. All righty. We got the Magician, the Moon, and the Nine of Cups. You know why you don't like the topic? You know why you don't like to hear this conversation? You know that these people are, it says it right there. I love this. It says manifesting punishment. You know that's what they're doing by talking about others, by talking about things, you know, just things that are like not, not nice is what I'm feeling, honestly. Like, I don't know how to express that, but it's just like, like why are you doing that? Why are you saying those things? Do you know how the universe works? Do you know how karma works? You're just doing this to yourself. You know, it's like the moon card here. It's like, it says shadow illusion, you know? It's like someone's really got it twisted on, on, on you know, how maybe karma, judgment, all that stuff works. Like so, to me, it feels like you're hearing someone say so many negative things and you're just sitting back like, oh shit, the universe is gonna kick your ass. That's what I'm feeling, Pisces. I do have the nine of cups here. Uh, which is granted, you know, and the whole thing makes me feel like, okay, you want to talk negative? You want to talk, you want to gossip about other people? You want to do all those things, you know, to try, to try to hide your problems, what's going on with you? Your wishes will be granted. It on, only, it won't be towards the people that you think it will be. It will be towards yourself. Now I understand, Pisces. I don't belong here. You don't want to hear this conversation anymore. You don't want to talk about this. You don't want to hear people gossiping. You know, my thing, Pisces, whenever I hear someone gossiping about someone else, I start to realize like when it, oh, so they must be talking about me. You know, that's what I know. So I, I, my ears, I can't hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't really care for it. You know, and I'm getting a side note, Pisces, be very careful of the conversations that you get lowered into because they might then say, you said it. You know, that's the feeling I'm getting there. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more about, you know what, let's do one at the end. One more at the end. We have the seven of wands. Give me one moment.
how wonderful is it to finally wake up to who you really are? Like, it's almost like you had any amnesia and you didn't know um, exactly what you deserved, how powerful you really are, Pisces. But it, I feel this energy that you, you know now. You know the power of relying on yourself, you know, betting on yourself, putting all that love and attention into yourself. And I feel like it's, it says here all in determined, seven of wands. It's like you're not going to let anybody sway you anymore. You're not allowing other people's opinions to affect the direction that you're moving to. I feel you taking advantage of an opportunity. That's how I feel it. You are taking advantage of an opportunity. You're seizing an opportunity, whereas some people are asleep to it. Some people don't understand it. So to me, it feels like there's a topic or an area in your life, Pisces, that my, a lot of people don't get. But it might be a big moneymaker. It might be a big successful thing for you. I see this. Like, it's almost like a, 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 like, people don't see, I can't even see it. It's something, Pisces, that's like, oh, shit, that was smart. You created that. You developed that. You know, and it's like most people wouldn't have even fathomed. They, their brains don't work like that to figure out how to become successful in that area of life. You know, I love that energy. And no wonder you're losing motivation. You feel like you're just a, from a different planet is what I'm getting. I don't belong here. You know, because you think differently from other people. You know, all right, let's go deeper. Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit. Right, this was first. We have the world in reverse. We have, what is that? Six of cups in reverse. Two more, Spirit. High Priestess. And one more. The two of Swords. All right. These cards are different, so bear with me. I'm going to keep it upright just so you can see. So I think you might see that certain people do have certain successes, but I'm going to be keep it real with you. Um, I'm, I'm not hating on these people's successes on the way that they manifest. They just manifest things differently. Maybe it's by taking others down. Maybe it's by gossiping about other people. They find some level of success, but it's very hollow. It's very shallow. It's not very deep and it probably will not last that long. I don't know who they're talking about Pisces. I don't know what that means. Maybe you know, but I don't. So I feel like you see how other people try to get ahead and it's just not your way. You know, it's not your way of doing it. All right, let's keep going. So we got the moon here, which was in a reversal, I'm sorry. And then the six of cups. I think people sometimes come to us for a certain season. And sometimes they give us what we need, even jobs. Sometimes, you know, that job did you well for so many years. That position did you well for so many years. You really loved it. You were excited about it. It was exactly what you needed. Um, I'll give you an example. Sometimes certain exercise routines, you know, are, you know, it, you know, and, you know, it helps you work through some type of mental issues that you're having. And then the next thing you know, the time has passed for that. And now you're into a different exercise routine, like you might have been into weightlifting, you know, and you loved it. And it was, you know, getting you going and, you know, your mind was great and you were working through your problems. But then next thing you know, you picked up running and now you love running. And it's like the running is doing it for you now, you know, because maybe you got bored of it. You lost the motivation for it with the with the weight weightlifting. I'm just giving examples, Pisces, on how, what the feeling is. And now I feel like you're regaining a new sense of motivation for something new. But the bigger thing here is that you are showing love and appreciation for that thing that got you to where to a certain point in life. It was something that you needed at that very moment in order to get to the next moment. So even though you're not interested in it, in it anymore, even though you know you may not wanna be around it or do it anymore, you're still very appreciative for how long it, for how far it took you. And that's what I'm getting there. All right, let's keep going. All right, we got the High Priestess Pisces energy. You have a very strong mind. 
it's shown here in the high priestess. So we got the nine of coins, wishes granted, the high priestess, um, decisive intuition. What is that? Decisive intuition. You know, um, you're very headstrong. People will not change your mind on the direction that you want to go, nor should they, Pisces. Um, you, you're the type of person that maybe was led, led astray uh, by others and now you kind of learn that the only person you truly need to listen to is yourself these days. How are you feeling? That's my line, Pisces. Do what you want to do and don't do what you don't want to do. It's so plain and simple. It is. If you really try to figure that out in your life, I know there's moments that you have to do things, you know, um, and I understand that. But you work toward, you acknowledge that this isn't something I want part of my everyday routine. This is not what makes me happy on an everyday basis. And you work towards the goal of changing that. Eventually, it will change because your heart and your mind is moving in a direction differently than that situation. And that's what I'm getting there, Pisces. Let me see if I missed anything. I think you've been realizing, okay, this is what I'm getting. So I get the sense, Pisces, that there was things that you worried about in the past, recent past is what I'm getting. And you're starting to see today how it not only worked out, but it worked out even better for you. Why were you worrying? And I, I said this before too, like we, we need to work on not worrying anymore. We need to work on having faith that we are protected and that thing that we were worried about, literally, I kind of feel it in the recent past, few days ago, it's like today is like, what? I'm fine. It was all good. Actually, it was better than good. Damn, that thing happened. That check came in the mail. That extra job that I did, whatever it was, Pisces, was all good. And that's what I'm feeling there. So it's a beautiful creation energy of acknowledging that you don't need to worry about things, you know? And that's what I'm getting there. Let's keep going. We got the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords. You're going to be faced with a lot of challenging decisions is what I'm feeling. That line keeps hitting me in the head. I don't belong here. You know, it says here, difficult decisions, all in determined. You're going to make the difficult decision. That's what I felt. You will make it. You will do it. You will accomplish it. I don't care if people get hurt, if people get stumbled along the way. No one is coming in between you and your soul and your spirit and your mind and what you have been through and where you are today, Pisces. You are definitely a survivor. I'm hearing that song in my head. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna make it. I will survive. Keep on surviving. Wishing you the best. Da -da 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 a lot of happiness. I'm better than that. I'm not gonna blast you on the radio. I forget this words. I'm better than that. Yes. Because my mama told me better than that. So some of you have been raised by good people, people who you've seen in certain struggles and make certain achievements in their lives. It doesn't have to be raised like your mama, but it's certain other people that you just want to be like or maybe you emulate a little as well because you've seen how bad they struggled and where they are today and maybe you're starting to realize it. If they can do it, I can do it. Hallelujah, Pisces. Hallelujah, if you can see that. Let's, ver let's clarify a little bit with this, Pisces. This is very descriptive, and I'm always like that with new cards. It might take me a second to get acclimated with it. But let's clarify a little bit. I like them. These are nice. All right. Oh, my God, I butchered. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I will survive. Keep on surviving. So you're wishing people the best. And I felt that. Like you're wishing people the best. You're like, even these memories that you've had, Pisces, in the past, like they're, they're part of your past, but you also appreciate it. Nine. Nine of cups. So we got double nine of cups. Wishes being granted. Your wishes being fulfilled. You knowing the power of your life, your tongue, your abilities. All right. Let's, let's clarify. Oop. Yep. Seven of Swords, very appropriate, Pisces. We got the Seven of Swords here. Give me one moment. What did I say? Okay, because I just want you to see that I'm not crazy. So we got Manifesting Punishment, Hollow Completion, and then we got the Seven of Swords here. Somebody who's being very tricky and deceiving and receiving and getting the things that they want, Pisces. This, 
you know, it's not a coincidence. If you do shallow, bare minimum, if you take from someone else, if you manipulate a situation in order for you to come out on top, it's shallow. It'll only last for so long. So I don't know who this is in your life, Pisces, because I do feel like there might be an energy of someone that tries to act like maybe they're better than you, maybe they have more than you, but I want you to realize how little that will fulfill their lives, how that will fade away in life. People like that will fade. They will not survive, you know, and it's like only the real will survive this. Only the people who truly, you know, go deep within themselves and pull out their direction, their compass can survive this situation as opposed to to kind of like like uh, uh, manipulating the game. Spirit, tell me more about this Nine of Cups and this High Priestess. This is the good energy, Pisces. The Four of Swords, Sleeping Giant, Pisces. If you need a lot of rest these days, figure out rest. I, I've been feeling like things might be moving a little bit different, like, fast for you um but i also feel that that's not the way you roll you know you roll a little slower you know you like a, you like some rest you like some downtime pisces make sure that you as hard as you work you rest even harder you know like i don't even know what that means i don't know if like okay let's say you've been going 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 for like a week straight i want you to take a day for me it's a cat and blanket day i grab my cat around my blanket and i just like watch tv or I just veg out with, the, with, with them, or I fall asleep and I take several naps. I feel like that is very healthy for you. Everyone operates differently. So, but some people, they need more rest than others, especially when they're, they're vibrating at such a, a high octane is what I'm getting. It's like, this is like some, some real flame stuff. This is some real fire stuff, Pisces, that you're finding within yourself. Spirit, tell me more about this seven of wands and two of swords like i feel like you're no one's stopping you you're making the decisions that you want to make like you've made up your mind the hanged man this is about seeing things in a different perspective let's see i think you're starting to realize that a lot of people were holding you back from becoming your fullest self and they're not going to like it pisces they're not going to like the new you they're not going to like the the you that is like challenging the things that they're saying, challenging something about their lives, finding a new path, forging a new road that maybe wasn't even there is what I'm getting, Pisces. Um, some of them are going to be very fearful and scared of like, what is happening with Pisces? Where are they going? Are they insane? Did they break? You know, but to me, it feels like you broke in a good way. You know, like you're forging your own way and your own path. And I feel like you don't care. I keep feeling it. I don't care. You know, I'm going to, to this fire that I, I feel in my spirit and my soul, I'm going to bring it to the end. That's how I'm feeling that. I'm going to bring it to the end. You know what I'm hearing now? This girl is on fire. Fire. I feel something like that, Pisces. Like somebody's on fire in the direction that they want to take. It's almost like you, once you set your mind to a certain direction, there's there's no coming back from it. There's none. There's no thingness. There's nothing that's going to take you out of this fire inside of yourself, Pisces. All right. Spirit, give me one more. The sharing. And then I do have silence at the bottom. All right. In this new path, in this new journey of your life, Pisces, you will not have people that understand you. Um, your job is not to make people understand you, but to keep feeding the fire inside of yourself. Keep giving yourself work as hard as that fire tells you to work. Uh, rest is just as harder as your, your soul tells you we need rest. And in between the people that want to know what you're doing, want to hear what you're doing, give them an explanation, try to let them share in the perspective, it's like you're not going to be able to. That's what I'm feeling. You're not going to be able to let them see your perspective. They're not going to see your perspective, and that's okay. Like, this is the, the path of a winner. That's what I'm feeling, Pisces, the path of a winner, somebody that forges their own way. Someone that, that is like, I don't know, you have this fire and the spirit inside of you right now, Pisces. You're working very feverishly, very hard on something. Like you want something, you know, and you're going to get it. 
to me, it feels like something that most people never seen you receiving before in life, them receiving in their own life. You know, maybe certain people will say, oh, at that age, I didn't have that. Oh, I wasn't like that. Or I wish I was like that at that age or something like that. But, you know, it's like you're opening up something new that most people have not seen before. So no one's going to understand it except for you, Pisces. And you don't need to share it. You don't need to talk about it. No one's going to change your opinion on it. Just stay silent and keep doing it. It's interesting because we have the high priestess and the silence card here. Both of them are these women with the third eye. The moon is right where the third eye hits. Both Pisces energy. Like your downloads, your information, Pisces, your spirit, your soul is talking. Can you hear it? You know, changes are coming. I keep feeling this Christmas miracle, Pisces. And I don't know if it's just in Christmas, it's just an energy, but it's like something that you're manifesting, that you're creating. And you're like moving away from people who are manifesting darkness, like shallowness, like something to do with temporary success. Like you're moving away from people like that. You want success in your spirit and your soul you want to be a unique human you want to be you know all in for yourself and not do the things that other people do to get on top you want to be happy and that's what i'm getting there pisces all right pisces i hope you like the reading please like and subscribe and thank you